this Dutch oven meals tips and tricks video, I'm going to answer one of our most popular questions, and that is the difference between cooking fresh and frozen. How the how and why the cooking methods are are our no are different. So we get asked a lot about this because when you cook a Dutch oven meal from fresh, you cook it slightly differently than if you frozen everything together. And a lot of our Dutch oven meals have meat and sauce and sometimes veggies or beans, whatever it may be. And so a lot of times what ends up happening is if it's a fresh meal, I, it might if you're cooking it from fresh, meaning you haven't frozen any of the ingredients, you might add olive oil or butter and you might saute the you might saute the, the chicken and then you'll add in the other ingredients ingredients and then let it finish simmering or bubbling or boiling depending on the meal. And so that's cooking it from fresh. Well, if we've put everything all together into a pack from frozen, we're really just going to put everything into the Dutch oven. So we'll skip the saute, the, the brown stage, if you will, where there might be oil in your browning meat, browning the meat and then adding the other ingredients. And it's, it's still going to turn out just as delicious because you have the meat sitting in these sauces and, and the, the flavors already have been penetrating the meat and it's still going to have a delicious end result. You're just going to cook it slightly differently. So with some of our Dutch oven meals, these can just be th meals that we're going to be, you know, braising and doing sauces with, or it's just some meat in a sauce, maybe with a veggie. It could be a chili. It could be a soup. Um, so there's a couple different things we might do um, once we've taken basically the meal starter, if you will, that's from the freezer. We've reheated it. We've cooked it through. And then we might swirl in things like pasta or rice or even cornstarch, um, cream or sour cream or cream cheese. We might swirl an ingredient in after it's you know, come to bubbling or simmering so that will complete the meal. A perfect example of this is creamy herb chicken. We are taking the chicken thighs and the herb butter that we've frozen. We're going to brown and saute all that together. Then we're going to add a little bit of beef. That's what we've frozen. Once it's been browned and it's, it's starting to sizzle, we're going to then stir in or pour in some chicken stock, which will slightly deglaze the pan and it will help continue to cook the chicken. And then once the chicken is mostly cooked through, you'll swirl in some sour cream to really give that sauce a nice creamy texture that then you'll serve the chicken with the cream or the sauce all together on your plate with your favorite side dishes. So that's just an example of a type of recipe where you might cook or brown the meat with whatever's in that you've frozen it with and then you'll swirl in some other ingredients to complete the meal. So there's your answer on the fresh frozen and why the cooking directions are different. We try to be more clear under the freeze and thaw um, directions. If we do need to cook it slightly differently, we try to explain that there for you. But I hope this video is helpful helping you understand kind of the differences between why fresh and frozen are cooked slightly differently, specifically with Dutch oven meals and some skillet meals as well. If you haven't yet checked out the other videos here on this page, be sure to do that. We're talking just tips and tricks of different ways that meals get from freezer onto your table and some tips and tricks around around the different cooking methods and cooking styles, um, what you need to thaw, what you don't need to thaw, how to thaw, things like that. So be sure to check out some of those other videos. It'll give you a really great sort of round, round um, understanding of how getting meals from your freezer to table will work so that you can do it with ease and not have to stress about getting dinner onto your table.